So Eric, I'm um, wondering what the Rabobank's tactics are for tomorrow? Well, I don't give you the tactics, of course, but... Well, the international peloton has one problem, uh, that's called Gilbert and his team. Especially his team, because that's, that's the difference between him and Cancellara. He has a very good team, and uh, last Sunday uh, his team was there in the final, so it was sort of a piece of cake for him to win the race, because he's the strongest guy of the bunch. So. Well, it will be a challenge to destroy his his uh, team. We also know it's it's a very big race, very hard race. Not so easy to win this race. So we'll see after seven hours tomorrow what uh, what the chances are of Gilbert and G our our own chances. Of course, we have a very good uh, team, eight very good riders. So we have uh, we have a lot of interest in uh, in a very aggressive race. Is it everything behind Robert? Is Robert the prime guy, or do you have other guys as well that you think can also contend? Mm. We have one uh, secret weapon, weapon in the team, so I won't tell you. But yeah, Robert is the safest, of course. He's he's always good. He's always there when when there's a battle. Uh, so he he will be one of the two leaders. Yes. Philippe uh, was very dominant in Amstel, very dominant in Flesh, and both of those feature uphill finishes. This is a little different. There's a lot of hills in the finale, but there's also climbs that can be yeah, attacked from further out and longer climbs. So do you think that could make it a little more difficult for him? Mm. When his team is uh, as good as uh, as in Amstel Gold Race, uh, it will be a problem maybe after the last 15 kilometers. When uh, when there are seven, six, seven, eight, nine guys left and he is alone, then he could have a problem towards the last climb. But yeah. That's, but then he then he survived already for 250 kilometers, and he is strong. I mean, last week it looked like he was breaking. He was pulling the last five kilometers, and he was just warming up. So <laughs> I don't know. How's Robert feeling? He faded a little towards the end of Amstel. So do you think he'll be better tomorrow? Yeah, he had some cramps. Uh, so I I think, and we can expect that he doesn't have the cramps tomorrow. Uh, it's it's a better race for him, I think. Longer climbs, uh, a little bit less stressy. Uh, but last Wednesday wasn't too good. Flash Wallonia was not not no, not too good, so he's a little bit uh, yeah nervous about that. How are his preparations going for the tour? Longer term, looking at, at his big target for July. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, so uh, next week he goes for a holiday for one week, and then he starts training for the Tour de France. Uh, he does some reckon. Uh, Tour de France stages, uh, he goes on altitude, he does, I think, Dauphiné Libre. So then, then his focus will be on the Tour de France, of course. He showed some good time trialling the Tour of Oman, so you think he'll be better at that this year in the Tour? Yeah, it gives us a lot of hope and it gives Robert, of course, a lot of confidence. So it looks good. His, uh, his time trials were, were very good the last uh, couple of times. So yeah, for the Tour de France, it should be very interesting, yes. This year, podium possible? When you can be fifth, you can go on the podium also.